Well, well, well. The experiment is... Sammy! Uh-oh! Ah! Wanna tell me something? Uh, nope, I'm good. Really? Then who spilled that terrible thing in our hallway? Ew! <sighs> that could have been anybody's shoe. Why do you always think that it's me? Oh, Sammy, it's just I wanted to wear these sneakers tonight to show off a bit, you know? But you... Me what? Maybe I have an astonishing alternative for you. Uh-huh, like what? Well, I... Uh, maybe we could probably... Uh... Aha! Uh, uh -huh. Why don't we make a brand new pair of sneakers from cardboard? They will be eco-friendly, you know? Hmm, that could be interesting. Let's do it. Phew, that was close. Hi, guys. Today, Sue and I will feel like true cobblers. Hi, guys. Well, yeah, almost. We're gonna create a super cool pair of Balenciaga sneakers out of cardboard. Almost cobblers are making almost Balenciaga shoes. Oh, come on, Sue. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't get a brand new pair of sneakers. And this channel wouldn't get a brand new video. <laughs> guys, give us a thumbs up if you're happy to join us today. You're right, Sammy. Making a new craft is always fun. <laughs> Even though one had to sacrifice her favorite pair of sneakers. Let's add some glue to this fold to shape the sole. Okay, guys, this is gonna be the very bottom of one of our sneakers. We'll repeat the same with the other side. And a gaffo should be bigger than the inner sole of your regular shoe. Good point, Sammy. <laughs> be careful with the glue gun, guys. We'll use it a lot today. As you might have noticed, we started making this shoe from its remarkable sole. It's very wide from the back and gets just a bit thinner to the front. By the way, I always wanted to ask you whether it's comfortable to wear such huge shoes. It actually is. Even though they look quite voluminous from the outside, they are quite cozy and light. Well, ours will definitely be light since they're made from cardboard. <laughs> oh, and you guys can use recyclable materials for this craft. We'll paint those sneakers anyway. That's right. Guys, Sammy kindly outlined all the pieces for the sole. Give them a thumbs up while I cut those out. And remember to always be very careful with the cutter. This craft is pretty easy, but it requires a lot of preparations in terms of outlining all the elements. Luckily, I'm a pro at finding a perfect reference. And done. Phew, that was a lot of cutting. Now let's glue everything in its place. Whoa, no way. What is it, Sammy? Did you find something interesting? Did you know that the Balenciaga Fashion House was founded more than 100 years ago? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm a future fashion designer after all. <laughs> Cristobal Balenciaga started his business in San Sebastián, Spain, and then moved it to Paris. He became extremely successful after his first fashion week, and many famous people of those times were eager to buy his clothes. Many times during his career, he was officially called a revolutioner of the fashion world. Can you imagine that? Whoa, Sue, I think you and I should also be called the revolutioner. <laughs> In what sphere, Sammy? Crafting, of course. Just imagine, one day there will be a fashion crafters week and you and I will definitely get the prize or whatever those designers were getting. <laughs> Sammy. Guys, we need a few pieces from the cardboard like this one to create a pattern on a sneaker tread. Perfect. Okay, now that the sole is ready, we can start working on the upper part of our sneaker. Shoo, I got it! Our craft today resembles a pyramid. What? How so? We started from the bottom part, which happens to be wider and more massive, and we gradually move upwards till we reach the very top. Oh! <laughs> Sammy, your imagination keeps amazing me. Do you agree, guys? Then give Sammy a thumbs up for his vivid mind. Come on, Susie, your imagination is great, too. Now tell me, what does all this process remind you of? Well, I'd say maybe it looks like a cake. When we build it crimpet after crimpet, adding delicious frosting. Oh, Sue, was that necessary to say such tasty things? Now I'm starving. <laughs> There's a piece of cake in the fridge. You can have it. Yippee! <laughs> what a sweet tooth Sam is. <laughs> huh? There. What do you say, guys? It's already looking like a shoe, right? But we still have a lot of work to do. Let's glue this detail over here. Done. And the same on the other side. Great! And this relatively big piece will work as a heel. We'll put it in its place. And press well like that. Ah, that was a good cake. <laughs> what did I miss? 
Well, it looks like we're almost done with the left sneaker. Just a few more decorative elements over here. These details will make our sneakers unique and special. Here comes one, two, and the last one. Oh, it looks so awesome, Sue. How in the world did you manage to do it all so quickly? I didn't have any breaks for cake. <laughs> oh my, it just hit me, Sue, the second sneaker we never started making it. Well, I only have one pair of hands and they're quite busy now. Say no more, Susan. I saw the whole process with this one. I know what to do. Huh, I guess I don't mind that at all. <laughs> Okay, now we have these loops for the shoelaces. We just have to glue them to the sneakers. Hop. Check this out, guys. Now we can insert the shoelaces. But I'm afraid they won't be made out of cardboard. <laughs> just one last touch and the shoe will be ready. To make the tongue, we'll need a part like this. We'll insert it right here. Great. Wow, guys, our left shoe is ready! Check out how cool it is! <gasps> I left the shoelaces in the armchair! I'd better get them before Fluffy decides that those are for him to play with! <sighs> I'll be right back! Phew, the laces are rescued! Check out the color I chose for our sneakers! We'll put them aside for a while, but we'll come back to them really soon. I wonder how it's going with the second shoe. Oh, I see Sammy was here. Did someone mention my glorious name? I was just saying, you did a great job helping me with this sneaker, Sammy. What about the one that you promised to make? Promise? Oh, yeah, I remember that I was supposed to make the second shoe. <laughs> but... But I ran out of cardboard and uh, decided to use this cookie package. Oh, Sammy, that's a cool idea. Guys, give a thumbs up for Sam's creativity. And remember, you can use any materials for your crafts. But Sammy, how's it going with the second shoe? So I couldn't waste these cookies, so I had to eat them. Now I have the cardboard and I can go finish the sneaker. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, while Sammy is busy with the right shoe, we'll get to the coloring. Huh? We'll defo need this. So... We'll start with white, guys. It's always trendy. Here we go. Let's squeeze it out here. I also want to add some gray, a lighter, and a darker shade. Let's mix it well. Awesome! We will also need... <gasps> yellow! Let's add more sunshine to our craft. Hmm, we'll need two more colors. Do you already know which ones? Purple and teal. I like it. Don't forget to add some pink. This will indicate my touch to the craft. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Sammy. And did you bring... This? Here you go. Wow, Sammy, great job. Guys, check this out. We've got an amazing pair of cool sneakers that not only look fashionable, but are also eco-friendly. Isn't that great? All there's left to do is to make them bright. Well, what do you say about these colors, Sammy? You are the master of decor after all. I say bring it on. Hmm, let's start with this one. I can get to the coloring as well. Beware and behold you, the left shoe. Great Master Sam, the king of decor is here! <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, with that kind of energy, you can make any craft. <laughs> I'm not just craft shoe, I feel I can move mountains. Ooh, move mountains of sneakers, Sammy? <laughs> and why not? Just imagine, if we start a cardboard sneaker production, we'll be able to avoid tons of cookies! And we'll also help the environment. But I guess you got carried away. Don't you forget that we have to color the sneakers. Ha! <laughs> Look, I can keep up to your pace. Hmm, and while you're trying to compete with me, I decided to add one more color, and it's your favorite. More pink? Uh, not really. It's peach, but it kind of looks like pink. Huh. 
I like how it matches with the rest. Since you're such an expert, then tell me which color we'll use next. Bright pink, of course! <laughs> I knew it! Whoosh! And whoosh! Wow, so cool! It worked on my shoe as well! Shoe, can you do it once more? I'm a bit tired. Easy peasy, Sammy. Wow, it came out awesome! Right, guys? Yes, shoe it is awesome! There you go! Guys, check out these two sneakers! Just one last touch. Uh-oh, it's Susie! Yeah, I guess I got tangled! Can you help me? Oh, <laughs> Sammy, Sammy, you did it again. <laughs> Thanks a lot. We'll insert the shoelaces so that you can check these out. Yeah, you'll have something nice to show off with. Maybe it's not that bad that your previous sneakers suffered from my experiment. <laughs> oh, you're right. I'm gonna go to the shoe store right now. I really want to see their reaction. I bet they'd be amazed. By the way, Sammy, while I'm gone, clean my shoes from this nasty thing. Bye-bye, guys. Wait, what? So, uh, bye-bye, guys. See you soon on our channel. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Sue, stop. I can't do it. I'm gonna craft it, not a cleaning.